Hello, hydrogen fuel fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my sands three minutes max. As promised before the Christmas break, I did receive some feedback from some viewers uh, about Apple Forensics and wanting to know more. So we're going to embark on this journey for the next number of episodes uh, talking about Apple Forensics. And by the way, um, we love to get your feedback on these videos. If you're watching these videos on the regular, how about a little bit of feedback? Maybe some topics you'd like to hear about. Of course, they can't be too terribly in-depth. We've got three minutes at a time to do them. Um, but we'd like to hear, are we doing all right? Are we not doing all right? If I'm just talking to a vacuum, I might as well stop talking. Anyway, back, we'd love to hear from you. Back to Apple. Uh, getting started down the Apple Forensics road is somewhat difficult just because so many things are different than with a Windows system from hardware to software and everything in between. So I've thought long and hard about how I'm going to approach going down this road in three minute segments. And sometimes it may seem disjointed, but bear with me, we will fill in the blanks. So we're going to start first talking about the different security layers that are present on Apple systems. And when, we're when I'm talking about Apple systems, I'm talking about not the portable devices. I'm talking about the laptops, the desktops, uh, the Mac mini, this kind of thing. And we're going to talk about the different security layers. And the reason we have to talk about that first is because every one of them plays into potential acquisition possibilities and successes. Then we're going to talk about uh, magic keystrokes. Apple devices have a huge number of magic keystrokes that will allow certain things to happen. Now, I don't mean control C, control V, although those do work uh, a little bit differently on an Apple. I'm talking about magic keystrokes that will take you to parts on the computer that you have to go to from a forensic perspective in order to enable or disable a lot of these security features. And yes, you're going to be changing the system. There's just no way around it today. With the newer systems, you're going to find out that no matter what you do, you're going to have to disable some of these security features before an acquisition is possible. And we're going to talk about these different security layers and we're going to talk about the magic keystrokes to get into the places to set these. And then we'll head down the road of how we can perform Apple forensic acquisitions. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.